Hey there, I'm Annie, and I'm made to amuse. I love designing cars with all over prints, and I achieved this trick with positive vinyl shapes and negative mass shapes at varying sizes. I like to call these echo shapes and save them as vinyl groups with minimal layers. As I'm attempting to conserve layers, I'm going to use one of the built-in community vinyls for my root design. Nevertheless, if desired, they can also be made from a group of shapes. The heart of my design is a single shape cloned and scaled to create an 8 to 11 layer echo shape. This process is perfect for making radial designs, and the style achieves a few basic design principles by using repetition, scale, and proximity. I also like to add emphasis at the end to make my design really pop. The last thing you need to consider is how the design looks in the crappy thumbnail image, which others will see before they decide to download your loop. For example, the Baja truck star print is so fine that the stars are blurry and don't represent the design on the thumbnail. As you probably know, Forza Horizon 5 allows you to design cars with vinyls and vinyl groups. However, you are limited to the amount of shapes that you can put on each side of the car. There are three main canvases on the top and sides of the car which allow up to 3,000 shapes. And there is also a back, front, and sometimes arrow that allow 1,000 shapes. What well, counts as a shape? Anything you find in the vinyl shape gallery counts as one layer, meaning you can add a variety of shapes starting from basic rectangles, circles, and triangles, to intricate decals, and even letters with varying typefaces. I've included timestamps in the description below for the chapters in this video. First, we will create an echo shape and we will create a variant of it. Then we will tile our echo shapes together to make a print design. And last, you will get to see a demo of how I create my all of your print designs from start to finish as a speed painting. To get started on a full body print, I recommend going to the Create New Vinyl Groups 2D Editor. Since we are going to be using masks, I like to start my design with rectangular shape and I treat this base layer as my canvas. In the end, however, I rarely save the canvas layer as part of my vinyl groups. Although you can do this for the sake of the thumbnail in your own design catalog. In this case, I recommend grouping the top layers prior to saving, and if you want to share it later on, remember to delete the canvas and use a vinyl color that contrasts with black. This will allow people to see the positive and negative shapes in your design from the thumbnail. Next, pick a shape you'd like to experiment with. This time, I'll try this floral group of hexagons. I think this will be interesting because this shape already includes negative space between the other hexagons. I generally use 8 to 11 layers of the same vinyl group or a few shapes that have the same outline. Then I will alternate between a colorable vinyl shape and a clone of it as a mask, which burns through all the layers under it showing the beautiful color of the car. Then, scaling them at intervals that allow you to see the outer edge of each shape, leaving a single shape in the center and creating an echo of it. <laughs> if you don't like the background color of your workspace, you can click the right stick to toggle your options. 
I like to use the dark mode grid background so I can align my design more easily. Play around with these options to see what works best for you and your current design. You can also change the color of the canvas layer to create more of a contrast. In the first part of this demo, I'm creating four shapes and four masks for a total of eight layers. I want these to be evenly spaced for my design, but you should play around with the distance between shapes and masks until you get your echo shape the way that you want it. Another thing to consider is that some shapes might be more interesting to rotate than to scale. Thus, the echo shape output really depends on your base shape. Notice, when you can see through the white canvas layer, this is a mask shape, meaning it will show the beautiful color of your paint, as well the white canvas area if and when deleted. Have the vinyl shape the way you want it, save it as a vinyl group by highlighting all the layers, creating a layer group, then click the save icon and it will prompt you to save and share your design. You don't need to share it though, <laughs> I usually back out once I've saved my file. Another optional step would be to make a variant of your echo shape. After I get my echo shapes the way I want them, I will save them as a vinyl group. Then it's time to start tiling them so the negative space between the outer shapes is interesting. To reiterate, negative space is where the paint color would shine through and is represented here as the workspace background. Sadly, there is no zoom in the Force of Vinyl Editor, for whatever reason. So if you want a closer look at your tiling, 
highlight all of your shapes and scale them up or down and move them around. <laughs> and then when you're done, you can fix the scale and recenter them. I also might add some color variants, and when I'm done with my print shape, I'll save this version as the new vinyl group to be loaded on a livery later on. Additionally, your final echo shape should fill the center of the workspace prior to saving as a vinyl loop. This will avoid scaling issues later on. It's best to work with big shapes here because layer groups that were created on a small scale will not be able to get much smaller. <laughs> and especially on your car, you're not going to have the creative freedom that you want. Also, if you go too small, you won't be able to see the print from the livery thumbnail. <laughs> and people are likely to gloss over your design if they can't see what's going on. Another thing to note is if you save your vinyl group with black shapes and masks, as I like to do, the outer thumbnail will only show you the outer edge, omitting the intricacy of your design. This is because masks render in the preview image as black shapes. I like to color my shapes as a group, but if you want a variety of colors, you should do this when you are generating your echo shapes. Awesome! You with me? Alright, now it's time to do the speed painting lesson from start to finish. First, make a canvas layer. Second, find a shape that matches other shapes if you're using more than one. I used a gradient shape and a solid shape, but they're technically the same outline, so it works. Alright, now I, I made them actually match because they're different scaling, but they are the same outline. Cool. So, you want to scale it, you want to add a mask, you want to scale it, you want to add a mask. And, um, I didn't really check my distances on this one, I just kind of eyeballed it, but... Sometimes it's nice that if it doesn't, like, match perfectly with my grid design it was more important but with this organic design it doesn't really matter I want my car to be red and you do want a vibrant color so the Mossler's yellow would have been fine but I don't really like banana cars so now we're going to add all of our canvases to the sides of the car so we can See really good where we've added our design. Here I'm adding my shape and scaling it down, and then we begin tiling. Yes, lots of tiling. You want all of that white space to disappear. And your vinyl will take shape. Just stamp some stuff on and move stuff around and it'll start to form. This is just a starting point, really. <laughs> oh yeah, so then I grouped all of them that I stamped and copied them to the side, because why not? Um, 
for an Oliver print. That's the best part. You just get to stamp it all over. <laughs> All right, so now I've got these in groups of fours and that's probably not gonna work out for me, but um, you can group and ungroup as needed. Don't forget to play with your canvas to kind of see what isn't being covered. Oh yeah, they kind of look like fish scales. <laughs> or dragon scales. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. Okay, but what if we arranged it this other way? That's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm going with that. <laughs> Perfect. So, I kind of need to change up my layering order to do this new texture that I like. Uh, but other than that, no biggie. And you don't want to just stamp it all the way across your car. That's not very conservative of layers. So, I'm ungrouping and just creating these four that I'm stamping instead of, you know, the whole thing. Oh, that's interesting. It's printing on the roof in a way that I... I don't think I noticed when I was making this. <laughs> of course. Well then, now I have to fix this top part. Make it more... ...stacked so I can't see the white. Oh, and changed my layering order, so I decided I liked it this other way. Beautiful. Look at that white just disappear. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, now we need some more layers, but that's okay. We're, we're still doing relatively good on our layers. But... They do add up quickly, don't they? <laughs> Alright. Now, I just want to stamp something on the front and the back before I start editing those, so... Yeah. Now I'm gonna mess with grouping and placement and... I can't really get these lined up in the front. That's fine. It's an abstract pattern. No problems there. Oh, wow. It's funny. This, like, top part kind of looks like a skull, but... I'm going for tiger stripes, so... I don't really want it showing. It, it does look pretty wicked, though. Alright, and, and if in doubt, always just save layer groups. You can always place them later. So... Definitely want to save some of these, just so I have them. Yeah, this it's way different looking on the side here because the space is a little different. If I had scaled it down on the side, I think it would match a little better, but I liked that it was different. But, but still the same, like, not clashing. You can totally see, like, a, a guitar kind of blackness in the middle there. It looks like a flaming guitar to me. <laughs> oh yeah, and I just deleted that other side so I could copy my new one over. That's a great feature. I wish they had that for the top, from like, right to left. <laughs> oh 
Oh yeah, now we need the wing. We're getting pretty close here though. There's those skulls again. It's just not what I'm going for here. It's not that it's bad. And I am trying not to change the scale. You could totally mess with scale and color and stuff, but... It's just not what I was going for, so I didn't do it here. Stagger a little bit on the top there. The back is really the most important part because that's where the player is most of the time. Yeah, and just like adding a little bit of variance here creates a nice texture. Now you can see I took away my canvas there. I had it black, but you saw how it changed. It became red when I deleted it. All right, well now it's your turn to go back and color it as you'd like. And whatever, whatever. That was it. That's all, folks. <laughs> There you have it! This is my favorite way to conserve layers while creating liveries that feature all over prints and simple radial designs. To wrap up, let's review our design principles. All you need to remember is that truly good design is crap. C is for contrast, R is for repetition, A is for alignment, and P is for proximity. I've used contrast by picking a vibrant pink color and a dark vinyl color. Of course, repetition is easy because we're making echo shapes. <laughs> Alignment came into play when we made our echo shapes originally and when we tiled them together. Proximity was also used in the 2D designer when choosing the distance between positive and negative shapes. Before you publish your livery, you may want to consider emphasis and your composition as a whole. I like to add a loud element to create emphasis, a focal point in the design. This can be achieved with lots of things like color, scale, and contrast. If your eye is drawn to it, that's emphasis. You'll likely want to add elements on top of your print anyway, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!